When he wins, he does a backflip inside the cage. Not an easy feat to get 248 pounds to move like that. Slightly larger in the weight category is Jared Rochelle's one inch reach advantage for Muhammad Darius on the arms, one inch reach advantage on the legs for Jared Rochelle. Lillian Garcia will start these heavyweights off. We continue with more quarterfinal action in the heavyweight division. This fight is brought to you by Presidente. Introducing to you first, fighting out of the blue corner, he is a wrestler, standing at 6'2", weighing officially 254 pounds. In 25 professional bouts, he has a record of 18 wins and 7 defeats. He is the number 7 seed, fighting at a standpoint, Idaho. Here is the Big Show, Jared Rochelle. His opponent, Fighting out of the red corner. He is also a wrestler, standing at six feet tall and weighing in officially 248 pounds. In nine professional bouts, he has a record of eight wins and only one loss. He is the number two seed, fighting out of Titusville, Florida. Here is Muhammad Mosadori. Your referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean making an appearance inside the PFL Smart Cage to monitor this heavyweight action. Muhammad Darius in the blue trunks, Jared Rochelts in the gray. No touch of the gloves, we get right to it. Muhammad Darius with the inside leg kick, takes Jared Rochelts off his feet and goes right to work for some ground and pound. Now we've rarely seen Jared Rochelle on his back, so let's see how he gets out of this position or if Mo Muscle's able to finish this one here. Those are some heavy hammer fists from the top there for Mo Muscle. Look at those hips. Mo Muscle's dropping those hips on Jared Rochelle, not allowing him to get control. Right to work with the heavy hands goes Mohamed Darius. He's got a lot of power. Rochelle defending so far. Herb Dean closely in observation of this action. Rochelle rolls to attempt to recover guard. More right like hands from Doris. Rochelle's gonna have to go belly down to the referee's position and start building up just like a wrestler, even though the punches are being thrown. His Mo Muscle has good hips and he doesn't seem like he's gonna allow Rochelle to do anything from the bottom here. Muhammad Doris trying to isolate that left arm of Jared Rochelle. He had pinned his opposite arm with his leg. Potential crucifix avoided there for Jared Rochelle. Alex Nicholson, our number three seed, could potentially face the winner of this bout. Muhammad Reese grinds his elbow into the face of Jared Rochel. Elbow strikes are not allowed, but there's nothing against putting a forearm into somebody's jaw. And this has got to be a very awkward situation for Jared Rochel. We rarely see him on his back in this position, and when you don't work from a position in fighting, it takes a whole lot more energy when you're there in a real situation. He grabs a single leg to try and get up here. More heavy hips from Muhammad Darius, who now circles to the back. Jared's got to get his head off of the back. You can't stand up with your head down. Rosho once again rolls to attempt to recover guard. Darius very astutely moves all the way to side control. Now he goes knee on belly. Trying to extract that right arm to land some punches. Knees to the body. Get on your left hip and come up. Don't sit there. He's going up to the arm. He's going up to the arm. Elbow down. Corner there for Muhammad Darius, letting their fighter work through this position. Full side control with a far side underhook for Mo Muscle on top in the blue trunks. It looked like he was setting up an arm bar there. We haven't seen heavyweight wrestler do something like that in ever. I believe. Nice over the full mount there, Muhammad Darius. In control, halfway gone of the first round. Quarterfinal action at heavyweight. Rochelle works his way back to his feet and immediately grabs the body lock. Dumps Darius, but Muhammad Darius once again fighting to get back up. And Rochelle smothering. Turn of events here in the first round. Now it's Rochelle on top of Muhammad Darius. This is where Rochelle is comfortable being. You have to question at this point, Eve, the amount of gas left in the tank for Muhammad Darius. He was going for finishes on top there, pounding away. The mouthpiece hanging out of Muhammad Darius' jaw. 
And that's a sign of, of, it, of it being exhausted, pushing the mouthpiece out, just trying to breathe. And now he has a 250 pound man riding his back with legs in. He's got to move. This is a position Reese is just waiting. Rosho looking at the referee, wondering where the stoppage is coming. Herbie and encouraging Mohamed Darius to try and pull the pace. Mohamed Darius is going to have to do something. Mohamed is stepping in. Herbie steps in to stop him. What a turn of events. Rosho reverses his fortune and gets a win by TKO. That's that experience showing itself. Jared Rochelle yeah, yeah, yeah. on the bottom, working from the bottom, taking punishment, but as he has an opportunity to get on top, flips it, just takes the guy out. We'll take a look at some replays and an official decision when we come back. Welcome back to Las Vegas inside the PFL Smart Cage. Jared Rochelle, the longtime veteran of the sport, celebrates a TKO victory in the first round. Here's our final fight stats in the Cajunomics. Somewhat misleading in this case, Eve. It looks like Muhammad Darius really did all the work there. But Jared Rochel with a takedown recovery after being really ridden for the entirety of the first round, or at least half of the first round, reverses position, goes right to work, gets the finish. Yeah, those stats are all about quality over quantity. We see Muhammad Darius landing the inside leg kick here, kicking the leg out of Jared Rochel and jumping on top, firing big bombs from this position. Trying to take Jared Rochelle out. Rochelle was smart, worked from his back. He stayed on bottom, tried to get to his feet a few times, was unable to do so. Scrambled back to his back, looking to work from a close from Butterfly Guard. Got nothing going for quite some time, but finally got back to his, to his legs. Almost landed his takedown, but gets counted in the lat drop. And then right here, follows up in his chain wrestling to the double. And from there, it was just, just a matter of time. He climbed up to that back control, Ultimately gets those hooks in, breaks Mo Reese down and just lands punches until Herb Dean has to step in because Mo Reese, although he isn't taking a whole lot of punishment, he isn't extracting himself from that position. Lillian Garcia has the official decision inside of the BFL Smart Cage. Ladies and gentlemen, the stoppage comes officially at 3 minutes and 41 seconds into round number one. Your, Your winner, winner by, by TKO, TKO and, and advancing, advancing to the heavyweight semifinals, Jared Rushaw. Jared, Jared Rushaw will advance to face the winner of Nicholson Barroso. Here's our playoff bracket. Isaev moving on in the top half. Jared Rushaw, a three-time All-American wrestler, moves on from the seven-seated position. Caroline Pierce is with Jared Rochel. Thank you, Sean. First knockout since 2015. What a performance, and to do so here in the quarterfinals to get your spot in the semis. How are you feeling? Uh, I feel all right. Took, took a few hard hits. He hits really hard. Uh, he's strong and powerful, and I knew this was my first and biggest challenge for the night. And you got through it, but you were in an unfamiliar position in the first part of that round on your back. Did you feel in trouble at any point? I felt in trouble that whole time until the end. I mean, as soon as I, as soon as I got up and had him against the cage and had that double leg started, uh, then I knew it was my turn. But uh, weather in that storm, that was a rough storm. Well, you did, you reversed it, what a turnaround. And then raining down those punches that were unanswered by Mo. Were you surprised at his strategy going in that he wouldn't try and stand a strike to feel a little bit more he got that takedown? Uh, n no, nothing surprises me anymore, you know, I've had a lot of fights and nothing ever goes the way that you map it out, so, uh, you know, this one went all right, but I didn't plan on taking all that damage first. Well, you get to fight either Alex Nicholson, Nicholson or Francis Barroso. Which fight do you like out of those two? Oh, man, uh, both veteran fighters, really good. Uh, th that could go either way. I have no idea. Uh, I know that they present their own challenges. Gonna hope they both kind of tire each other out first. I hope so. I hope they take more hits than I just did. We'll go back and recover. Thanks for putting on a great show, Jared Russell. Thank you. Appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Get ready. Uh huh. Listen. What you wanna do? If you don't strike first, that's when they gon' come at you. Yeah. And you know it's true. Don't let your life get worse. Being timid, that ain't cool. Nah. No. 